have Artisha Bomer. Artisha Bomer. Oh, my apologies, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. Um, Senator. And then after Artisha, we have Charles Richard, and after him, Evan Schock. Hmm, Welcome so to the Senate Oversight Committee. You have three minutes. Thank you, committee. I am so happy to be here. Let me put my hat back on because this is my prize right here. This is the winner who won the election before it was cheated, before it was fraudulently cheated. It was cold and calculated fraud. And um, uh, as a sidebar for Senator um, Santana, if Black Lives Matter, why did you skip me? Well, um, anyway, let me get on. Um, Senator McBroom, sir, when I first saw your name, two things instantly came to my mind. One, will you sweep my testimony under the rug like the other people have done, such as Dana Nessel, who's in the fraud, check. Governor Whitmer, fraud, check. And all of the above, check. Or will you sweep me off my feet by taking my testimony as facts rather than fiction? My name is Artesia Bomber. I am an adult citizen, resident of the state of Michigan, also a registered voter. I was trained and credentialed to be a poll challenger for the November 2020 general election. I witnessed many election irregularities and violations of Michigan election law, and I hope that my statement is taken seriously. I am sharing this information under the penalty of perjury that if I testify, I can be locked up if I'm telling a lie, which I am not. On November the 3rd, 2020, between 9.30 and 10 p.m., I reported to TCF Center. I was assigned to two separate tables, absentee voting county board, 123 and 120. I immediately noticed things were not normal. Election workers were allowed to wear Biden t-shirts, blue face masks, the ones I recognized on Gretchen Whitmer's face in some of her interviews on Charlie Langston's show. I also saw poll workers wearing Black Lives Matter, oh, Black Lives Matter face masks, which is a political movement. Joe Biden is moving to defund the police. Thank you very much. I am not passing judgment on this because I am a proud black woman from the city of Detroit. Welcome, my sister from the D. Please uh, direct your comments I to the chair, I know this because I've been strictly told not to wear anything of partisan related to my candidates for office. So election supervisors seem to be implementing a double standard. Election workers had jackets, backpacks, purses, etc., on the tables and on the floors. There was no system to check your personal effects. Some people even had coolers for food with them. I don't know what was in them. It could have been ballots for all I know. I observed an election worker pull out a ballot from an envelope where the circle was completed next to the name Donald J. Trump. I saw this with my own eyes, all this that I'm saying to you today. I could see this because the marking was at the very top left corner of the ballot. Instead of processing the ballot, I saw the election worker push the ballot back in the envelope and put it in there in a black container on top of the table. I witnessed a meeting between election workers, team leads, where they gathered together and spoke at meetings that was in the left far hand side of the wall. The meeting ended in cheers. Woo! They were just super excited. At approximately 11.43 p.m., I heard one of the team leads yell, this is our house tonight, and further yell, they're going to do what we tell them to do from here on out. I yeah, took that as they're minute. saying, this is the, the Democrats' um, house tonight, and the Republicans, independent, or whoever, is going to do what we say tonight. And might I add, I was a U.S. Taxpayer Party of Michigan candidate at that time, sir. I observed stations where election workers were working on scan ballots that had issues that needed to be manually corrected. I believe some of these workers were changing votes that had been cast for Donald Trump other than Republican candidates. I observed ballots with cursive writing notes at the top right-hand corner. I observed a lot of them. Let's say a count, maybe about a hundred of them or more. I also um, observed these ballots did not have ballot codes on them. The one, you know, you tear at the top, no ballot code numbers. At approximately 4.03 a.m., a poll worker announced, 50 boxes of ballots coming in. Election workers loudly cheer, woo! Why? Did they know that they were for Biden? Was it a Biden dump? We don't know, huh? About 4.50 a.m., I witnessed a man spraying a chemical inside the ballot. It could have been air, but I also saw him put whiteout tape up inside of there, and he was walking around with this whiteout tape during the whole night. I have witnesses. If you need to call on them, their name is Cheryl Constantino, Linda Sawyer, Judy Jump, Debbie Swalf, and Marlene Benser, including myself, Artesia Bomber. I can't get all into Thank this because you. I probably got a few more seconds, but let me tell you, it was voter fraud at its finest, pure and cal calculated fraud. And I, I wouldn't be surprised the people up here was involved. But this young man right here, Senator McDaniel, Donald, I gotta give you kudos. I, I see you're interested in this. And Senator Thies, I have to give you kudos because I see you're really paying attention. I wish Senator Lucido was here because I say he's paying attention. And now I think you will pay attention. And I plead the blood of Jesus over this fraud and that everybody that was part of it and know about it will be convicted and they sold and they spirit, they won't sleep, they won't Thank eat you, until they come right. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you.
questions from any Sen questions? Questions from Senator Santana. Oh, please. Thank you, Chairman. You're welcome. And thank you, Ms. Bomber, for oh, you're your welcome. testimony. Mm -hmm. um, you mentioned in your statements that you were also a candidate for the U.S. 13th Congressional District at the time that you were a challenger. Um, do you realize that you cannot do both of those acts at the same time? Well, that's a double standard because y'all committed fraud and y'all weren't supposed to do that at the same time as well. Next. I still witnessed it. My eyes still witnessed it. Any other questions? Any other members? Questions? Senator Tice? I just want to make sure we get a copy of your testimony. Sure, but it won't get, be done today because I'm going to amend it. So if you guys have anything with the word Artesia Bomber on it, dispose of it because it will be amended and that will be withdrawn. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. You're done? Thank you. You all have a wonderful day. And who all who involved, not rest. <laughs>